Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some absolutely crazy leaks to look at today in the video. We have the whole entire League One team of the season leaked. We know every single card that is going to be coming out this Friday inside of League One team of the season. We have the stats, we have the positions, all the players, the starting 11, and the bench. We have everything. So I want to take a look at that in today's video. Also take a look at the market because these leaks coming out has already started to affect the prices of some La Liga Tots cards, right? We were just all excited about uh, the La Liga Tots cards this week with how cracked this team is. But players like Benzema, players like Vinicius Jr. are actually down in price because of these leaks and people seeing these cards. They're going to be released this Friday. Also, today on Wednesday is a really big day because we're going to have the La Liga Tots guaranteed SBC. So you're going to have a chance at packing, of course, Benzema, Vinny, Modric, and those players from that SBC. I want to take a look at that and how that might impact the game today. And just take a look at the rest of this week in general, as a lot of people are just switching gears. And some people are even starting to hold on to their packs and not open packs just because they see how this League One team of the season with the leaks actually look so i want to look at all that in today's video and more if you're excited for league one team of the season based off these leaks hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new let's look at the cards without further ado this is the leaked league one tots and it was crazy yesterday on tuesday i know a lot of you guys have seen this already all of these just started rolling out and within like two or three hours we had the whole entire team. We had the whole entire squad. Now, of course, you're like, Nate, why is Messi in here? Why is Neymar in here? This TOTS was not voted on. This TOTS was just released by EA Sports, and you know that they know they can get some more money if they put out the big name players in packs to get people to open up some packs with FIFA points. So we've got Mbappe, we've got Messi, we've got Neymar, we've got an absolutely disgusting looking 95 rated Ben Yedder. And the biggest part of this team, which is the craziest part in my opinion, is the midfield. Take a look at these midfield players. Lucas Paqueta, Chalmeni, Fofana, and Genduzzi are all getting midfield TOTS cards. Just think about all of those players this year. The reason why this League One TOTS is, in my opinion now, with the way these cards look, if these stats don't change... These are expected stats, by the way. So they are confirmed unless EA changed them last second. Um... This is the best Tots hands down, without any doubt. Just because, like, look at all these players that are in here, right? Think about all the very overpowered items and hype cards that these players have had this year, right? Ben Yedder with the captain's card. Lucas Paqueta with the 5-star, the 5-star five five foot birthday. Chalmany, future stars. The Fofana headliner and player of the month card that put him on the map this year in FIFA. Again, doozy winter wild cards, right? You'd have a Marquinhos team of the year, which actually this Tots Marquinhos is better than the team of the year card. Uh, the foot birthday Nuno Menge as well with the five-star skills. That was such a cracked card. The Mbappe team of the season item actually looking at these stats has better and higher statistics than his team of the year card. The really interesting one in here is Neymar because Neymar's stats, if you actually look at him compared to Vinny Jr., Vinny Jr. looks way better. He's Vinny Jr.'s got more pace, shooting, passing. Um, they both are at 99 dribbling, but Vinny Jr. has like 87 physical, and Neymar has 70. But since it's Neymar, again, you're seeing that Vinny card actually drop a little bit on the market in advance of this team actually coming out. So just looking at this team in general, the, it looks cracked. Again, how many fodder cards are in this team? LaFont as the goalkeeper, which is cracked, by the way. French goalkeeper, his 86 in form was so good earlier on this year. We've got like two fodder cards. I mean, Saliba is going to be pretty cheap. Uh, Terrier is going to be pretty cheap. I mean, Kloss and Payet are probably going to be pretty cheap as well, but they're still really good cards. So there's like three or four cards in here that I think might be less than like 50 or 60,000 coins. And the rest of them are just going to be super duper hyped. And that's what's really dope and really awesome about this League One team of the season. And that's why the market is moving because these cards just look flat out juiced so this is the biggest part of the leaks that are coming out right now i mean i can't believe some of the stats on these cards and we don't even know about skill move weak foot upgrades imagine like a five-star skill move ben Yedder, right i don't know if they're going to maintain some of the five-star boosts on a guy like paqueta um or the nuno Menge, like with the foot birthday cards i would really doubt that all of those would maintain their five-star boost but i still think that we will see a couple four-star uh or a four to five-star weak foot or skill move boost just imagine if this mbappe is five five that card's going to be like seven eight million coins if he's five star five star it's going to be ridiculous so this is the team i'll put a link to this down below in the description 
if you do want to take a, a closer look at it and look at it you know up close and stuff like that but those are the cars that are coming this friday and i know some people were still in in the thought process that we were actually going to have um syria team of the season this friday ea switched up the order this year they're going to be doing La or league one first and then they're going to do syria and then ultimate tot so they switched it up but as of right now we're looking at the the leagues for these cards and they just look absolutely incredible so like i said since the leaks look so good and people are already starting to prepare cards that dropped right away on the market were these most recent tots cards uh from la liga that everybody was going out and trying out right Vinny jr was like 4.9 mil yesterday he dropped all the way down to 4.5 flat in the panic selling after people saw neymar um benzema was 3.3 3.2 he went down to 2.9 where he currently is and you've seen some other cards on the market start to move there's one card that's not in that team that you might be like okay um where's Hakimi right Hakimi did not get into the team of the season and of course with that happening his team of the year card has gone up in price he was actually 450k just a bit ago uh before these undercuts he was 390 to 400,000 coins about two days ago and he has rebounded back up since. Now, also, the opposite has happened, right? We talked about Marquinhos and Mbappe both have team of the year cards. The team of the season version that's coming out is better. So this Marquinhos is down like 50,000 coins because people see the better stats on the leaked team of the season card. I believe Mbappe's team of the year is down as well, um, although he's really rare. So yeah, he's 3.88. So that's down a little bit. So I think there's going to be more interesting market movements to come and, and this is what i keep thinking about how are these league one tots cards going to come on the market this weekend how is this going to affect the game because this is two insane weeks of team of the season back to back we just had a really solid release of cards with the la liga tots right i mean if we take a look at these cards based on what we saw last week with bundesliga these cards coming out with some of the boosts that they had with militao and felix and benzema Vinny, and modric we were like really excited and these cards look really really cracked and we wanted to use them all right well it feels like we're taking another step up in hype for this team of league one tots cards i just don't know if this market is going to head into this weekend without seeing a lot of price drops in other areas because people love League One, French links, the PSG links, and the League One links all together this year in FIFA have been so good. So many people have loved League One cards. Like I mentioned, all the midfielders that are in this team and some of the other cards have had so great of special cards earlier in this game that people are used to using they know we're really good in game it's just this is like the most op and meta team of the season that's going to be released just because of these cards that are in here so i think the market is probably going to drop some this weekend um and so you know you haven't seen a ton of prices drop that much just yet yeah a lot of these la liga tots cards really have not moved that much just small amounts not like you're seeing Bundesliga price drops like crazy. A couple cards are down a little bit. Actually, Nkunku is down a decent amount right now at 1.34, 135. Um, you know, again, as I mentioned, some of the higher tier cards have been sold off a bit from pros in the past two days. So that could be impacting Nkunku a little bit because I do believe there are some pros that use that Tots and Kunku card from the qualifiers. Um, but I honestly think that, wow, Salah 1.89. I really think that the market's going to struggle in the next couple of days in this weekend. I think you're going to see more price drops because the demand and the hype for this team. I don't know if this team's going to be cheap or if it's going to be expensive. Right now, I'm leaning on the side of expensive because I just don't know how EA is going to make them cheap. It's not like they're giving out a token pack this weekend. It's not like people have a ton of saved up packs. So we're going to have to just kind of evaluate and see what happens as we get closer and closer to Friday for these League One Tots cards. Um, and what's going to happen with that sort of stuff and how they might be supplied first day if we hear about preview packs or, or anything crazy like that then we would maybe have some insight oh my gosh winter wild cards neymar is 1.4 mil this is another part of the market that has been continually dropping is um you know like neymar is getting a tots card so this version of his item is down ben yetter is getting a team of the season card so his foot captain's card which was 600k this morning i sold a couple there because i knew that he was going to be dropping i took the small loss because i figured he was going to go lower this guy now is like 540 or 5 560 he was just 540 so these cards are really rare and if the team this weekend is super duper overpriced and expensive some of these cards um could bounce back up a little bit just because there's so much hype with league one but i feel like a lot of the market might 
just continue to drop off a bit before we get there. So I'm not telling you to panic sell by any means. In fact, I'm even taking a look at some of these La Liga Tots cards uh, tonight on Tuesday night into Wednesday for a potential flip. I think that some of these cards after the guaranteed SBC today will still go up. People that want to buy them, people that want to try them out this weekend before the brand new cards come out. Uh, I, I think you're going to see some of these cards actually rise back up a little bit. So, yes, I'm keeping an eye on the La Liga Tots cards, but I'm just saying in general, I just feel like, especially later on this weekend, maybe on Saturday and Sunday, that's when you would see a lot of this market drop off a bit um, because of these League One Tots cards being so, so incredible. So that's the League Squad. Again, it seems actually absolutely crazy. We don't have any more leaks in terms of uh, what else is going to come this Friday for SBCs or objectives, but that's the big news right there with those cards. Now, let's talk about today. Let's talk about today on Wednesday. What, of course, are we expecting? Well, every single Wednesday, we get the guaranteed from the major league. So this week, La Liga Tots guaranteed. Yesterday, we had the guaranteed Liga Portugal pack, which was way more expensive than honestly I thought it should have been. I know the SBC only cost about 20K, but like nine out of the 11 cards, maybe like 10, sorry, not 10, sorry, but like eight out of the 11 cards that were in the Liga Portugal squad are like 25k or less is what it seems so i thought that was going to be just a little bit cheaper but it seems like 84 is going to be basically our minimum rating for a tots sbc i think today the la liga tots guaranteed is going to run you an 86 rated squad i think that would make the most sense i think it's going to be pretty similar um to how the premier league squad was in terms of a cost for that guaranteed sbc just because you have so many high tier players again benzema Vinny, modric uh pedri all of these cards that are that are in La Liga team of the season that people will hope to pack. But I'm going to be honest, and you guys know this as well, we've been doing upgrade packs this week. The upgrade pack weight and just these cards being dropped in the game is horrendous. These cards are so hard to pack. It's unbelievable from upgrade packs. I have spent a lot of coins and opened up a lot of packs and recycled into a lot of other packs, player picks, the 80 plus, the premiums. And I only have like six team of the seasons to show for it. And I think two or three of those are Day Tomas, right? I know everybody's tired of packing Day Tomas when they finally see a blue pop up. It's just unfortunate how unpackable these cards are. I don't know if that's going to change as we head into today or tomorrow, if the pack rate's going to change at all. But right now, it's kind of an L. So I feel like for a lot of people today on Wednesday, this TOTS guaranteed is going to be their last shot at maybe getting one of these TOTS cards that they want to get for their team. And then after that, um, if they want to go buy them, then they're going to go buy them up. So I honestly think that guys like Modric, Militao, uh, Pedri, Felix, maybe some of the more rare cards, Acuna as well, Kunde, you might see a few of these cards on the middle to high tier rise up a little bit, like we saw with the Prem and the Bundesliga in the last two weeks. After that guaranteed uh, pack drops, you always see people going out and starting to buy those cards. So watch out for some short rises on these cards, some quick, maybe some opportunities for some quick flips. On the lower tier, like Araujo, Acuna, Courtois, uh, Canales, those are gonna be packed a decent amount today from that guaranteed, maybe Fakir as well. So maybe a slight dip on those, but then they're still in demand. So you might see a couple people buy those up so we could have some fluctuations with these cards today uh, with those on the market. And since, of course, a lot of you guys might be thinking about SBC fodder, you know, we've got our 84s, 85s. They're still chilling at about 5.5K for 85s, 86s, or 8K. Fodder hasn't really moved that much this week because the SBC content has not been that great. And yesterday, if you guys were not aware, we had sort of like a content glitch. They tweeted out an Iago Aspas SBC, and they didn't add it until like three or four hours after the content drop. There was an error with the SBC and all this other content. They dropped a, a mega pack tradable for the Road to the Final uh, Conference League game, which is today. Um, and they wrote to the final. It's the final. It is the final of the conference league game today uh, on Wednesday. Also, they dropped a La Liga 84 plus player pick. So I think since a lot of people may not have done that yesterday when it was dropped late, they might be waking up today buying a little bit of SBC fodder, especially with the weekend league rewards being automatically paid out. Um, and you might see a few of these fodder cards go up today before content and after content as well with the guaranteed La Liga pack. So if you've got fodder listed up for lazies today, if you want to get it out this week, hopefully we see a few more rises than we have, or else it might just be worth holding your fodder until next week when we possibly get some more great content 
as well during league one team of the season so that's kind of my thoughts um again yesterday we got the aspas sbc it's about 138,000 coins it's not that bad of a card um it's just kind of average right you can see i'm flipping if you take a look at the upvotes and downvotes a lot of people have upvoted it it does look solid 97 agility high high work rates four star four star he's got finesse shot outside foot i mean if you need a loud league striker um, this is a really good SBC to craft. He's going to be pretty cheap to do, and he's got the Spanish links. So, you know, you need a link to that Ansu Fati. Boom. This is a guy that's going to be pretty meta that should do pretty good in game for you. He is pretty short, I think. Five foot nine, and he's got the lean body type. So, He's going to be a dribbling master in the game. He does have 94 on the dribbling stat, only 87 balance. Looks like people are giving him, why am I surprised, an engine to boost that agility, that balance, boost that pace up, and then, uh, you know, add a little bit of passing to his card as well. So that's not a bad SBC by any means if you're running a La Liga team. Um, and I think that there will be a few more people that will be doing that today after crafting some of those upgrade packs and SBCs, which again, like I mentioned, the upgrade pack weight is honestly, it's just awful. I, I opened probably 50 plus packs yesterday um, and I only had like three blues to show for it. Two day Tomas and Amuni Ayn. It was, it was seriously, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, and, you know, I, it doesn't motivate me to want to do many more of these, especially with a lot of people seeing the leaks now for League Un. It's like, man, why would I do any of these upgrade packs right now? Um, and I might as well just save all the packs that I'm getting and wait until Friday for League Un because the squad for those cards just looks absolutely uh, incredible for those. Now, I do want to talk very quickly at the end of this video about what we talked about in yesterday's video. Yes, we do have an actual leak now for a UCL showdown. And I think that this SBC is either going to be today on Wednesday as a part of our Wednesday content or tomorrow on Thursday. It's Fabinho and Rodrigo. So it's two Brazilians kind of um, matching up and, and, you know, going head to head here with the FIFA version of our um, competition of the Champions League final. Of course, it's Real Madrid versus Liverpool, one card representing each team. We looked at Luis Diaz versus Rodrigo as a prediction. This is the actual leak. I mean, I think this could be today, but either it's going to be today or tomorrow. And whatever day we don't get this, we'll probably get that leaked Thomas Lamar SBC for La Liga Tots as well. So one of the next two days, I think we'll have both of those pieces of content. So whichever one comes today, the other one would probably come the day after. But these are our leaked players, Fabinho and Rodrigo. Rodrigo could be a really nice card if they give him the right boost. And Fabinho's winter wild cards, which maybe some of you guys used earlier on this year, was a decent item. So he's going to be more of like a Vieira type build, center defensive mid in the Prem. I know a lot of people will be excited about that for Prem squads and for the links that he has with plenty of Liverpool specials like Trent, like Jota, the people may be using in their ultimate teams and or Van Dyke at the time. People might be using that, those cards still. So that's our official leak. I know we talked about it a lot yesterday. These are the official cards that we should see in the next day or two for a Champions League showdown, which is nice to know the actual cards. So currently on, on the account, you guys know that I'm really invested in uh, a lot of these specials. I have some Tribos at like 70K. I've got some Renato Sanchez. I've got some Kimpembe. Um, I've got some Awar. I've got some Gelson Martins. I think this is the most popular like investment right now for out-of-pack special cards is this Gelson because a lot of people know and they look at this league squad of Ligue 1 and they're like, man, Nate, uh, there's no right mids besides Messi, right? And besides Messi, you know who the most popular uh, right mid is in this league and it's this guy, it's Gelson Martin. So 500K for him, he's very, very rare. I know a lot of people have invested in this card, but also I know he's a rare card in general and he's got the hype. He's got the pace, the dribbling, the five-star skills. So with Ben Yedder being in the team and Chalmany, I think that I'm going to end up holding this card. And I think a lot of you guys should too. And uh, what's really going to be the kicker for League One special cards is if the whole entire TOTS team of League One TOTS is really, really cheap, that's going to hurt these cards. Um, but if it's really expensive and it starts off day one pretty high pr in price, that's going to help these out-of-pack specials because if it's cheap, people are not going to have to go and buy one of these cards to put in their team that are maybe a little bit cheaper than a brand new team of the season item. They're just going to be able to go and buy a, a TOTS item, right? So that's why I'm being very careful with some of these cards. You, you did hear me mention selling some of the Ben Yetters, um before his price dropped off a little bit. You know, I, I am losing some coins right now on the new Menge that I bought. I bought some new Menge at like 230 
hoping that he would go to like 250, 260, maybe even 270. And of course, with him being leaked in team of the season, we would expect him to be a cheaper player. So people sold a card like this off. And I believe he's now like 200K again. Yeah, he's 190,000 coins. So it's just the market seems to be a very weird, like in a, a very weird spot right now where a lot of people are invested in some of this stuff. I'm watching the prices on a lot of these League One specials because yes, they could go up this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to buy any more. If you haven't bought in, uh, then, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that I think there's more opportunities to buy. I think a lot of those cards are up already and I'm going to play it safe. I just feel like at the moment, the market's in a spot where yes, League One Tots is going to be very, very hyped. But I also feel like that the special cards may not have a huge explosion right away because they are they are very invested in. They're very, very popular and um, a popular investment that is. And then when you have a lot of people investing, if this TOTS team comes out on Friday and it's very, very cheap, then we might have some issues with that and we might have some panic selling. So we're going to continue to watch that as the week goes on. Again, right now, we just don't know too much and we kind of have to wait and see until Friday. Friday is just going to be a huge day for this game. So let me know down in the comments what you think about League One Tots because again, it's obvious that that team looks cracked, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think Messi should be in? A lot of people don't think that he should be, but it's EA, so they want to sell those packs, get that money. That's why he's in, in my opinion. Uh, same thing with Neymar, but again, I think all of us can agree that team looks incredibly for in incredibly cracked with, with meta cards and cards that people are going to want to use in their teams and yeah, that's hype, right? So that's we're looking forward to a really hype Friday of League One team of the season. But again, today first, we've got a guaranteed Tots for La Liga. So let me know again down in the comments what you think. If you did enjoy the video, put a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the Twitch live stream today. We're going to be ripping guaranteed Tots packs. It'll be a lot of fun. And hopefully there's not just, um, you know, Canales and Courtois and De Tomas and Munian in those packs. Hopefully... They're a little bit juiced today, but it's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.